Now, recently at D23, we heard about Disney's plans for the future. Some people were disappointed, some people were excited, some people were confused, some people were happy. Really depends on you. But one of the things that I wanted to touch on that Disney overlooked, and they overlooked quite a bit, but one of the things that I thought was really interesting that they overlooked was Magic Band Plus. Magic Band Plus has been with us for a little while, and some people have said that it makes sense, it's fun for the kids, you get to go and explore and try the game, and I have to admit, the game's kinda cool, just not with the phone. But there's something clearly happening with Magic Band Plus that Disney is working on, but haven't told us about yet. And I caught a little bit of a spoiler as I was walking around the Contemporary. I caught this sign at the Contemporary Resort recently. At the time that I took this picture, of course, it was still there. I don't know if it's currently still there, but you'll notice Notice it talks about Magic Band Plus in ways that we've seen before, access and convenience, interactive quests, we're getting back to that, and enhanced experiences. For some of us, it just seems a little bit gimmicky, you know, not really worth it for the cost, except if we really zoom into that second point that we see in this uh, poster. Again, this was in the Contemporary Resort. Interactive quests with Magic Band Plus engage with fun interactive quests across all four parks. Now that clearly is something that is yet to be revealed because at the time of this recording, Disney has only given us the experience where you're a bounty hunter around Hollywood Studios. And I have to admit, again, it's fun. Just wish the phone wasn't involved as much. Okay. What's coming to the other parks? We all knew when Magic Band Plus was first rumored and then announced that Disney had big plans for it, right? They're working on it. They took away Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, which so many of us loved so much. And they're trying to find a way to profit from more and, you know, make it more and are brought into this century. I personally liked collecting the cards and wish they would go back to something physical. Maybe that's just me. Let me know in the comments. But with this new system, clearly they're working on continuously updating a new style game. Obviously, there'll be a cost associated with it. The cost is the price of Magic Band Plus. If you have one, you're great. But if not, clearly you'll have to uh, purchase one in order to play whatever these interactive quests are in the future. Hollywood Studios is no doubt a test for what the future is going to be, but you can see by these posters already, Disney knows they're going to bring games like this to all four parks. It's a great idea, it really is. The implementation needs to be changed a bit. We all know this, we've talked about it, but I love the concept that you can walk around, interact even more with the parks, and then get a better score or, you know, achieve an achievement. With Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, not only could you collect the cards, which again, wish they'd bring back something physical that you could, you know, hang on to and collect, but you could get a shirt if you won the game. I unfortunately never purchased the shirt, I should have, but if you win the game, you can purchase the shirt. It was a requirement. You could not have this shirt, you can purchase it anyway, without winning the game. So my question in the future, because I know, again, Disney's focusing on their profit margin here in terms of how they can make the most out of this, right? They're thinking about these games, these quests, which will occur in all four parks. We can speculate all day long as to what they are going to be. Magic Kingdom could be going to, all around and trying to catch, you know, Tinkerbell, or maybe at Epcot, you're going to all the different countries and collecting a virtual passport, and then you have to do a special task. Think of how it was with Perry the Platypus, right? And before it was Kim Possible, it was supposed to be uh, uh, DuckTales. Oh, you know, there's a lot of interactive quests that Disney has brought to the parks in the past. And now, clearly, they're trying to incorporate it all into Magic Band Plus. But when is this happening? You know, how soon until we see a more interactive game coming to all four parks at Disney? The reality is probably not for a while. Disney is yet to release more information about Magic Band Plus. And as much as I'm, I'm feeling like it is gimmicky right now, it is, it absolutely is. But for the future, I can, I can see what it will become. And I think many of us can kind of look into the future just a bit and consider what they could do with this technology that could enhance the park experience. Waving your hand in front of the statues is interesting for a very short time, and then having it light up for the fireworks doesn't really make much sense to me because you're not really looking at it. So they're going with like a glow for the glow with the show idea, but I think it's more going to be about these interactive quests. When I'm thinking about this, I think Disney's got to focus on two major components of the interactive quests. First, take the phone out of it. Completely remove the phone. I don't know how they, they're going to do that. Maybe they can just remove it for the most part, and then you need it at the very end. Or maybe the screens are in the parks rather than on your phone. That is the best way to do this. The screen is there, not on 
your phone because otherwise people's batteries are going to die. You can't see it in direct sunlight. It does not make sense to use the smartphone for this for the entire length of the game. Maybe the beginning, maybe the end, maybe like one point in the middle, but for the whole game, no way, not a chance. Instead, screens in the park or some other way. The second piece of this that I think that they can really work on is making it more collectible and fun for everyone, right? If you don't understand the technology around, let's give the example of the Bounty Hunter game, you're going to get confused really fast. And Disney made it, pretty, they did a good job with it. It turns green when you're getting closer and it flashes purple when you're right there and it's red when you're going the wrong way. They've got to improve the technology, make it more accurate in terms of direction, but also make it easier for someone to start the game, stop the game, and ask questions as they go. They've got to make this process easier. Because some of us, it makes perfect sense, but many guests you see walking around the parks trying to play the game who don't get it. So it's something that needs to be worked on to make it even simpler for guests uh, maybe who are a little younger. The last tidbit that I wanna add to it is adding something physical to the game. Do I think this is gonna happen? I do, but I think it's gonna come at a cost, right? So whether it be a collectible shirt, a pin, a hat, another type of magic man, something that's gonna come at a cost to us to enhance our experience with the game and become whatever it was, you know, Maybe it won't be a sorcerer's style, you know, achievement, but it could be like, you know, super magical, you know, pixie duster. You know, you, you don't know what it's going to be, but Disney's got to make this something that you can translate into the real world. Now, some friends have told me, Michael, this is a great idea. They should use the phone even more instead of just, you know, the magic band by itself. You won't be able to interact the same way as if you have the phone. And I totally get that for one specific reason. Pokemon Go. I'm a big Pokemon Go player personally. I love it. I play it in the parks a lot um, just because it's just so much fun. You can interact with the community. No one really, you don't really like see other players when you're there, but you can still interact, send each other gifts, have fun, and see other people you're playing with kind of around you without knowing who everyone is. So it protects privacy in the same way, which I think is awesome. Disney, I think creating something like that for the parks would be very difficult considering the, you know, this push they would have to make for that technology and then the cost that's associated with it. Pokemon Go is so successful because there's no cost associated unless you want to advance a little faster, right? Disney's kind of focused more on that guest experience when it comes to these kind of interactive experiences throughout the park in order to make them the maximum level of successful. Instead of making a paid for service, it should be a free for everyone. And if you want an extra thing that doesn't give you power, you know, special abilities on a ride, for example, instead makes it just fun for everyone and you can just get a little different outfit for your guy or a different magic band that you're wearing. Does that make sense? Something that makes it a fun achievement for you but doesn't put you over other players who are maybe playing in the same style game. It's a really deep thought into the future. It's it's not something that Disney's going to do right now or right away. It's just thinking out loud. But Disney's clearly seeing the potential of something like this and going to continue to work on it for all the, far the parks in the future. When do I think this could all happen? Probably going to take a couple years before we see more of those interactive quests in all the parks. Maybe Magic Kingdom or Epcot. Epcot, I think, would be very likely to get this next because of all the updates coming in uh, 2023. But I think it's something that's going to take a long time before we see it in all four parks. So even though this poster is out, it's going to be a while. What do you think of Magic Band Plus and the future of it and this poster? Do you think this poster is just kind of like, oh, the quest is waving in front of the statues, you know, or something like that? Or do you think it's something that we kind of stumbled across that Disney's working on, but it's not quite ready yet? Or do you think it's about to be released like any day? Let me know in the comments. want to hear from you. A special thanks to our patrons for making all of our videos possible, and thanks to you for watching. Until next time, have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.